We have something I'm super excited for. We are going to Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, Colum <laughs> I was like, is that the right place? Columbus, Ohio. We're gonna watch the Ohio State game. This I'm shooting two separate videos while I'm there. I'm doing one, my first ever Ohio State game. I'm in Ohio, gotta go to Ohio State game. I feel like it's mandatory, it's like the only thing to do here. Two, day in the life of a punter for my boy Ryan Hansen. So he's the Arkansas State punter, dude's a stud, man. So really excited to shoot that video, but also you guys are gonna be able to see like my first Ohio State game. Uh, so come with me, let's go. Okay, we just parked, first ever game day. A little cloudy, a little overcast, but hey, good vibes here. Let's show you the view real quick. Got a nice little, just, Side road, about to get into the main campus. Maybe I should have waited to get into the main campus before I made this, whatever. Things are definitely starting to look a little bit more Ohio State-y now. We're in, I think we're in campus. Buildings and, and school buses. Not that they need school buses, but uh, Christ, there it is. Also, what the hell? Got the special response team. So here I'm pretty much just watching the specialist warm up for Ohio State. I'm not really doing too much, but I really just love watching the warm up process for some of these guys, just figuring out just what they're doing for their warm up process. I like to see the different styles. So all the punters were warming up and I was able to watch the specialists do their thing and Ohio State, you know, I slowly started seeing the fans trickle in and I got a glimpse of Jake Seibert. Honestly, <laughs> I actually called him Austin Seibert because I forgot that uh, Austin was graduated and been in the league for multiple, multiple years and then out came a specialist for Arkansas State. Pretty cool to see them out here, but as you can tell, they were absolutely dwarfed by the stadium out here. So I don't know if this is like the biggest stadium that they play in. This would have been the biggest stadium I played in by a freaking mile if I were out here. And I think that's one thing I really like to watch is watching these guys warm up. They stacked up pretty well against the Ohio State kickers and punters. I mean, they were looking really smooth. The, even the backups like uh, William Pristup was very impressive to me. He hit the ball really well. Uh, I should have looked up before two was before I started recording this, but he was looking pretty solid as well. The kickers looked really good. Um, Matson, I think that's his last name, one of their kickers who was handling the kickoff duties, has a cannon for a leg. And I wanted to put that more in like the day of a life, but I just uh, didn't have like the room for it. I was trying to be as like precise and, and linear as possible with the story. But as these guys started rolling out, you know, you can't really hear it too much in the video, but when I was there, you could just start hearing people get booed, and it was fun just watching all these guys warm up and pretty much just catch passes and do their thing and got a little sideline action to see what goes on in the life of a specialist. <laughs>
Okay, now that we made it through opening kickoff, I just wanted to give y'all that real-life in-game ambiance of kind of what I was feeling, seeing, here, and stuff like that. First thing I want to say is the cheese pizza I ate earlier was actually pretty bust. It didn't look very good. It didn't look very appealing. And I was kind of mentally clowning on it and getting ready to just like give them some crap for it. And then I ate it, and I was like, holy crap, this stuff's actually pretty good. So they put their foot in that cheese pizza, I'm not going to lie. Uh, after this, this, the game's pretty much, I mean, it was a schlacking. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. The offense, like, the score looked better than how the game felt. Every time the uh, Arkansas State seemed to get into, like, field goal range was always by, like, some miracle. They had one really good drive, and that was pretty much it. A lot of their drives were extended due to penalties and, and just random stuff. Like, right now you're watching one of their better drives where they're able to actually run the ball and sort of get some things going, and they still kind of ended up coming up short. The Arkansas State team itself, though, I mean, they look decent, right? They're running around well. They're throwing the ball well. They're doing some pretty good things, and they look like they've got a bunch of athletes. They just kind of looked outmanned by Ohio State. I mean, it was, there's just a lot of times, like, you just see an O-lineman get completely bowled over. Over. And going into halftime, obviously the score was 24 to 9, so not particularly close. And all three of those were field goals. Obviously, Arkansas State's not winning, but we're having fun, and they're punting a lot, so it's a good time. Jesse Murko just hit a beaut to the three-yard line. You can't get much better than that, honestly. That's what I was hoping to see out of him. He hit that ball pretty clean. They get the premium five-dollar water, six bucks a bottle. Are you kidding me? Oh. 